Hello guys, welcome to Griffo Media. I'm Griffo. Today we're going to play Mario Kart Arcade GP DX, which for me is one of the best arcade games I've ever played in my life. It's just so much fun. It's so different every time you play it. And it's a barrel of laughs, whether it's just a one player or you're playing together with another three people in the arcade. Absolutely adore it. So why not race a few of the levels on it today on the channel on my upright arcade machine? and have a little bit of fun. My kids absolutely adore this game, whether we're out and about or at home. Full force feedback on this game. Fanitech CSL Elite is my wheel. Arcade machine I built early 2024 and I've got everything playing on it so if there's some uh, games you'd like me to do on the channel uh, just let me know, could be console games, could be arcade games, anything you wish it plays all of them so we're racing 150cc uh, I've got spiders all over my cart at the moment And we're up into second. There we go, first place. Let's continue, shall we? Race some of the courses today. Right, Tropical Coast is next. I've kept Mario, because he's my favorite, but we will turn the characters around as we go. I've switched the cart out though, as you can see. <laughs> so uh, hopefully this F1 style Mario Kart will be a lot faster. <laughs> Didn't manage to get uh, an item there though. Oh, I did, I did. Underwater now. Try and get some Mario coins as we go. And again. Missed him that time. I think that's more accurate. No, I missed him again. Oh well. We'll get you on the next lap. <laughs> I think we both hit her at the same time. I can use the boost on this FA1. I have to hit the brake to do that. And I'm kind of working a one pedal scenario at the minute. Did I get him? I did. Wow, what a shot. What a shot. That's from miles away. Yeah, you can get a boost as you go around the corner. I think I'll try that on the next bend. It's a lot going on on the third lap already. So if I hit the brake here, oh no, <laughs> it breaks the car. Oh, you have to hit the brake at the same time, I forgot. Which means I can't do the boost, sadly. But hey ho, just have to get around this guy here, little Luigi, try and win the race. Probably get him on this bend if we can, with an item. And we did get him. Didn't seem to get him though, did it? Right, should we hop on to the next course? I think I might change up characters now. I think we might go Luigi, actually. Bon Dan Street is next. And true to my word, I've switched up. I am now Luigi, just in a regular cart. Don't like any of the fancy stuff, to be fair with you. I know they look quirky. I like just to race in the regular carts generally. Didn't get a boost that time. Come on Luigi, what you got dude? Have some of that, he said. That's what I got. Whoa. <laughs> we 
running into all sorts of stuff. Got him. Come on. Got ya. Final lap, here we go. Another second there, 150 cc. Let's change characters again, shall we? Pac-Man Stadium, he says he never goes quirky carts. We'll check a load of this with Bowser. <laughs> there you go. And he gets a little bit of a boost as well. Goodness me. <laughs> Ain't getting round the bends with him. <laughs> I mean, this game is just so much fun. And uh, for those of you who do subscribe to my channel, know how much uh, I love the old Mario Kart thing from its, you know, inception back many years ago. And uh, it's just run through the ages, isn't it? I think the N64 was the first Mario Kart I ever played that I really enjoyed. Um, and then the Wii, the original Wii, do you remember that? And then the Wii U with Mario Kart 7, uh, then on the Switch, of course, with all those courses. But in the arcades, it's been great too, of course, with Triforce coming in uh, right there in about 2005 with Mario Kart GP Arcade. And then they did a second version of that, which was quite similar to the first version, in fairness. Different characters, tweaks on the courses. And then, of course, this is the kind of more updated version, which if it doesn't get a console port, they just honestly the need to do this. This would play really nicely on a Nintendo Switch. Obviously, uh, we probably never see that. They never tend to do that with arcade games, do they? Sega used to, but then, of course, they, they didn't after a certain point. It's just a bit frustrating, I guess, on the upright that you can't get the, the whole drift thing going because you do need two feet for that. You're tapping the brake as you're going around the bend with the accelerator down. And so, um, but hey, it's still fun. And to be honest with you, I haven't needed it, have I? Bowser, you did me good, man. Second, not bad. Didn't expect second. Right, let's change up our character and cart and do the next course, shall we? Banana Labyrinth is next. Donkey Kong Cup, of course. Wario, <laughs> should mix it up. Should really be one of the Donkey Kong characters, but hey, it should have been Pac-Man on Pac-Man and all of that, shouldn't it? No boost. This car's a little heavy going, to be fair with you. So this, of course, is a Namco and uh, Nintendo kind of inspired game, isn't it? They work together on this. No Sega involvement, I don't believe, on this one. Where Triforce did have all three working together.
no better feeling than getting somebody with your item that way, is there? <laughs> The boost would have been nice to use, I guess. I would have been getting more first places had I been using that facility, but it's still fun. And if you've got an arcade game you want me to do on this channel, guys, dead simple, comment below. And in future uh, videos, we will uh, absolutely endeavor to do as many requests as we can. We're literally... Uh, getting inundated with stuff to, to do on the channel, so uh, we absolutely will get through as many as we can. Got a bit more time for this stuff nowadays, so uh, yeah, lots of content coming thick and fast. Oh, that was a good shot, wasn't it, from there? Yeah. I might just hold on to this for now and let it go there. Second again, I think. Third. Ah, oh, we get worse. Still doing 150 cc with no boost, but hey. Sky Arena next. <laughs> Had to get somebody along the way there, right? Whoa, got absolutely battered then, of course. I turn right then. <laughs> awesome fun. Down into fifth. Outrageous. Not sure what that blue thing actually does. Maybe slows them down a little bit. Final lap. I'm in first, which is a first. Let's be honest. I'm not sure that's how it'll end, to be fair. Bound to get smashed with a load of stuff now, aren't I? Holding on to this with dear life. I'm gonna throw that and just see what I get. Oh, not that. Don't want that. Get rid of that, shall we? Have I got a win? No chance. No chance. Only one more course to do. Uh, but it's been a blast. Final one, Bowser's Castle. Had to go peach on this one. See how we get on. Hopefully another first place. He says another. <laughs> Only had one previous. A nice little boost on the final race. 
Tell me the arcade games you love, guys. Tell me the ones you want to see on the channel. Much easier experience if you can use the boost on this game because you don't have to get a kick coming out of the bends. I got a couple of hits there and up into second and I've still got my crazy little blue guy as well which you can have and pick up another item goodness me <laughs> what kind of items are that have some of that he says get a bit closer you can have some two toed and I'm up into first. Who would have believed that? But I am. Second now. And just what the doctor ordered right here. That's a way to end the video, isn't it? Another first. So there we go, Mario Kart Arcade GP DX on my upright system here on Griffo Media. Let me know the videos you'd like to see. What games are your favorites from the arcade? And until the next time, we'll see you soon. Griffomedia.com